have to give the baby back. I know. <laughs> That's the rule. That's here. the rule, okay. <laughs> so I have a few announcements to share with you today. Isn't it great to hear the sound of children talking, crying, being with us? Hallelujah. So just a couple of announcements. Next week's Labor Day weekend, I'm guessing you're all going to be camping, but we will be worshiping here. So if you're around on Sunday, please join us. The week after that, on September 11th, we will have Bishop Ann, from, uh, who's Bishop of our Synod. She will be with us here to, um, to deliver the sermon and to bless us. Um, I believe that's also um, Rally Sunday, so I'll wait for Jen to make more announcements about that, or maybe Kelly has already sent some things out about that. On September 18th, St. Stephen's will be celebrating their 125th. They're not as old as you guys, but they're almost. Yes, they're catching up. Um, so they're going to have their celebration worship at 9 a.m. with an outdoor worship, rock and roll band, a bouncy castle, all sorts of fun things in a picnic. Saint, uh, Zion will not be worshiping that day. We invite you to join us over at St. Stephen's at 9 a.m. Um, I don't know if any of you saw this, but please remember to save the date if you are interested in attending the what used to be called the Advent Women's Retreat will not be in Advent this year. It's going to be in November. November 13th through the 15th, we will be gathering up at the Landmark in Door County. Um, you'll, you'll be getting some uh, registration forms in a week or two. Please note that some changes have been made and the Landmark will not reserve a block of rooms for us unless I pay in advance and then I lose it if we don't fill. So, when you get your registration form, you may want to call right away to get your rooms reserved at the Landmark. I will have a number, I will have some prices for you. So please um, mark that in your calendars, November 13th through the 15th. Jen, do you have some things to share with us? I do. Good morning, everyone. Um, I just want to say congratulations to the baptism there. I remember when Seth was in my confirmation class. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I know. That makes me feel really old, doesn't it? Mary's with his kids getting baptized. I'm like, what? Okay. And you all know that too. You knew him before even then. Okay. But I just wanted to say thank you for um, supporting us and supporting all the kids in this uh, congregation. And I do want to say thank you to um, Jan Plain and Carol Hazelwood and to um, Jenny Laper and Pastor Kimberly for always trying to keep on track and keep me on with these, you know, schedules and so everybody knows all the information that they need, even though it changes every single day. So the stuff that you watched in the announcements, um, it's not accurate <laughs> and it's not Jan's fault. She had all the information right up until it just changed. So uh, let me let you know these things. So the Unity in the Community event that we are having September 11th on Rally Day, um, as I met with those other uh, youth leaders in the area, um, they decided they wanted to wait until the spring for the event so that we have other churches that are interested and they want a little more time to prep, make it a little bigger event. So we're not going to be doing the kickball thing on the 11th, but we are still going to be having youth group that day. We're going to be going to the corn maze. So um, if you already blocked out that day to come and play kickball, middle schoolers, high schoolers, keep that saved. Come with me out to the corn maze. We're going to leave here at 1.30. So if you need a ride, come here to Zion at 1.30. And if you're a driving kind of kid and you just want to meet us at Pedals and Plows, we'll be out there at 2 o'clock. So um, yeah, that will still be September 11th. We'll still be getting together, but it won't be for kickball. So um, also this week, another change, um, we have our confirmation uh, kids meeting, families on September. I mean, the 30th, what is, what is it? 31st Whatever Wednesday, Wednesday is. Wednesday, the 31st is when we are meeting at 6.30. And that is still probably at St. Stephen's because they are redoing the parking lot over there. And day by day, they tell you yes or no if I can go on it. So if they're painting it that day or adding another layer, I don't know. 
So uh, keep watching your phone, your text. I've been contacting everybody either by text or by Snapchat. And um, just, just stay stuck to that on Wednesday. And if you don't hear from me, it is still at St. Stephen's at 6.30. If it's got to change, it'll be here at 6.30. So um, just uh, stay stuck to your media for that day. Um, also, uh, September 11th, Sunday School starts. Um, we are going to be in a different format this year. I don't know a ton about it, but I know we are um, having Sunday School, I think, twice a month. And um, the first one is September 11th. And if that's not right, somebody say something. OK, it's September 11th. And um, you'll learn more about that as, as uh, we get closer. Um, please, again, watch your um, text and, and the church website. We'll put more information up on that. If you have a, a child that's Sunday school age, we would love, love, love to have them. And we need some adult teachers to lead them. So um, if you are interested in uh, maybe helping out during Sunday school, and you don't have to commit to every single Sunday. Um, we're only having it uh, twice a month now uh, in person. Um, so uh, any, any way that you could help and be a part of our team would be fantastic. If you'd like to do that, please see um, Kelly Schmuel or Sherry Laper. And um, let me tell you, it is very rewarding because I see a lot of my old Sunday school kids here with their kids that are now in Sunday school. And I see my friends back there from Vacation Bible School. Hi, guys. <laughs> OK. So it's nice to see you all again. And on that same Sunday, yes, there's more, uh, September 11th, is um, anybody so third graders will be getting their Bibles on that Sunday um, for the first time. And if you are like third or fourth or fifth grader and you still have not received your Bible, please let me know right away so I can make sure you get one also on that day, on September 11th. And then we are going to have a Bible uh, basics workshop later on that day at noon here. So after the little fellowship thing there with the bishop, stick around because we're going to have um, the Bible basics. So if you are a third or fourth grader, you, you got information from me via text and the website and stuff, but if you're a paper person, this is the information for those of you who have not received a Bible yet and would, would need one, please see me. I will get that for you and we would love for you to join our workshop at noon that day right here at Zion. Thanks. Thanks, Jen. Are there other announcements that need to be shared? If anybody likes Ludafisk, we're hoping to do our Ludafisk dinner in Minnesota on November 19th. November 19th, head up to Minnesota. You can get more information at the lunch afterwards. All right, then let, let us present our offerings to God. rise.
Let us pray. Merciful God, we offer with joy and thanksgiving what you have first given us, ourselves, our time, and our possessions, signs of your gracious love. Receive them for the sake of him who offered himself for us, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. And now, Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The gifts of God for the people of God come to the table at the direction of the ushers. Very briefly here, we have both not a gluten-free bread, that's one big loaf of bread, but we also have not, uh, got gluten in them, wafers. So um, if you're not getting the bread, it's not gluten-free, so just be aware of that. So you may be seated, and with the communion assistance, please come forward.
please rise as you are able for the blessing. And now may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen us and keep us in his grace. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, you provide the true bread from heaven, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Grant that we who have received the sacrament of his body and blood may abide in him and he in us, that we may be filled with the power of his endless life, now and forever. Amen. And now receive the blessing. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Now I know we usually get seated for the closing hymn, but we're singing a real rabble-rousing rendition of when the saints come marching in. So sit down if you like, or if you've got to stand up and march, please do. Now go in peace to love our neighbors and our enemies. We will. Amen. Amen.